How is Motty the Mole going to celebrate World Book Day? Motty the Mole could hear noises coming from Morris's office. Is that you, Morris? He whispered. Well, you can't be too careful when you're only a little mole. Yes, I'm very busy sorting out my mining books, said Morris. Now Motty liked to help his friend. I can sort them out for you, he said. I can sort them by size, big books, little books, in between size books. I can sort them by colour, red books, green books, black books, he explained. Morris shook his head. I want them to be sorted into types of books, he said. What do you mean? asked Motty, looking a bit puzzled. Well, this isn't just a green book, explained Morris. This is a book about gardening. It teaches me how to plant seeds so that we can grow vegetables on our allotment. This big brown book helps me understand all the things I need to know about when I go to work. These books have empty pages inside so that I can write down the names of people in them when I have to make a list. This book is the oldest thing that the museum looks after. It's all about how men who lived long ago managed to get coal and other rocks out of the ground in the days before they had big machines to help them do it. It was also quite difficult to make the pictures for this book, added Morris. Each picture had to be carved out of wood, then covered with ink before it was pressed onto the page to print the picture. Mutty thought that was a very clever thing to do. Can you spot a man being lowered down on the end of a rope? Can you spot the wheel that the men are turning? What do you think is in the bucket at the end of the rope? Another sort of book is this new story book for us to share to celebrate World Book Day, said Morris. So Motty and Morris sat down together. Morris read the story and Motty listened. Enjoying storybooks was one of their favourite times. Suddenly, Morris stopped talking. Why have you stopped? asked Motty. So that we have time to think about what might happen next. That way, we'll both look forward to finding out what really happened at the end of the story at our next story time, explained Morris. We just need to use a bookmark so that we know which page to restart the story tomorrow, said Morris. Can we print one? asked Motty. Morris showed Motty how to print a bookmark. Would you like to make one too? <laughs> you might get a bit messy. The Wacky Wednesday team would like to recommend There Are Cats in This Book by Vivienne Schwartz, a book full of interactive ideas so that young children could be part of the storytelling. One of our favourite books with which to celebrate World Book Day. Next week, 
We will find out about coal mining mums.